Hello and welcome to the All Monitor Brief. It's Monday, September 16th. I'm Kristen Tallman. Today is just a short segment catching you up on what you need to know on what's happening across the region. Israel's opposition leader Yair Lapid cautioned Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday against firing his defense minister, who is rumored to be on the chopping block for challenging Netanyahu's handling of the war in the Gaza Strip. Lapid spoke to reporters in Washington after meeting with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. Swiss food and beverage giant Nestle will build its first food factory in Saudi Arabia, according to a report published on September 15th. Slated to open in 2025, the new 117 square feet site will be in Jeddah's third industrial city. Iranian President Pazishkian vowed Monday to ensure the morality police would no longer bother women in remarks to the media on the second anniversary of Masa Amini's death in custody. The morality police were not supposed to confront women. I will follow up so they don't bother them, Bezeshkian said during his first press conference in Iran since he took office in July. Hamas chief Sinwar said Monday the Palestinian group had the resources to sustain its fight against Israel, with support from Iran-backed regional allies nearly a year into the Gaza war. Meanwhile, Israel's defense minister, Gallant, told U.S. envoy Amos Hochstein that prospects were dimming for a halt to nearly a year of fighting with Hamas ally Hezbollah in Lebanon. The first hearing in the trial of a Manchester City soccer club, also referred to as Man City, began in London Monday as the United Arab Emirates-backed British team faced 115 allegations of breaching the English Premier League's financial rules. And Israel dropped leaflets over a Lebanon border village Sunday, urging residents to leave, state-run media said. But Israel's military told AFP a brigade had taken the initiative without approval. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps launched another satellite into space on Saturday, utilizing a solid state fuel rocket technology that Western officials have watched with concerns over its potential use of long range ballistic missiles. That's it for today, Monday, September 16th. You can read all these stories and more impacting the region at allmonitor.com.